Hey there, this is Marty. Uh, I want to do a quick video blog. It's been a couple weeks, so today I'm talking about short sale mindset. It's the mindset from a homeowner's perspective. The, deciding to do a short sale, deciding that you can no longer afford your property, your mortgage is it's not affordable, you've tried several attempts at a loan modification, and you are frustrated, you don't know what to do, and you may have spoken with a HUD counselor, you may have heard it in the news that a short sale is an alternative to just walking away and letting your house go to foreclosure or having to file for a bankruptcy. So a short sale is a great viable alternative if you have come to that realization. And it's not an easy realization. A lot of people, even when realizing those options, have come and gone in that at this point keeping the property is not an, an option a lot of people still <clears throat> cannot excuse me come to the grips with the fact that they're ready to do it and a lot of times they're like you know an ostrich with their head buried in the sand if that even makes any sense don't do that you need to act and you need to act quickly 2012 is the last year of the mortgage debt relief forgiveness act which means after this that act expires and all of the debt that gets charged off, either in a short sale when you get it approved or the debt that is going to accumulate when the bank takes property, pick, takes possession of the property, any debt left over, that is going to be fully taxable. So if you owe $200,000 and there's a $100,000 deficiency, the IRS is going to tax you on $100,000 in income. For canceled debt at the expiration of 2012. So if you're on the fence, that should be enough of a reason to, um, to look into the short sale. But the mindset is this. You're starting your life over. You're taking a real difficult time period in your life. It may have been related to the family illness, of course financial distress. A lot of people who hasn't gone through some financial distress over the past five or six years, it's been a Great Depression. Or it's been a divorce or other, other family matters like that. A short sale is an absolute settlement. Not just of the debt, but a settlement of you and your mindset saying, you know, the past is the past, the present is today, and the future is whatever I'm going to make of it. I, you know, I rarely ever read hardship letters. I have to collect certain documents in the short sale. And a hardship letter is one of them. And I rarely go through because a lot of times I just make sure that I have all the documents. They make sense. It's exactly what your bank is requiring. But I don't like to go through and comb in and look through the bank statements and, and read every little thing. But I most recently read a hardship letter. And something what the person wrote really struck home to me because I thought it, it summed everything up perfectly. And at the very end of his letter he said, I am hoping that this short sale will be the beginning the turnaround in my life, something that I can build on. And I was like, right on. You know, you really hit, really hit the nail on the head because that's exactly what it is. It's a chance to put the past behind you, to make sure it's not going to follow you for the rest of your life like it will if you ignore it. And it's a chance to really do really the right thing. Sell your house, put a sign out front, you approve the offer, you go to the closing, you toss the keys to the next person who's going to own that property and maintain it and keep it, and you move on with your life, with your head held high. And that's exactly what you'll do when you process a short sale the right way and use the right person to do it. So any other questions, feel free to contact me, and um, you have a great day.